Okay, this is part one of using the UDA and VMware Workstation to test ESX deployment scripts. During this part, we are going to deploy and configure our UDA server. And in order to do that, we have to open up the UDA inside of VMware Workstation, which we're doing right now. And we got to make a few changes. I need to set this to network adapter to be on host only. Uh, that's where I'll be doing my deployments. And we can go ahead and power the machine on. And once UDA loads, we log in with root and a password of test. And what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to set the networking information, the IP address, the subnet, and the gateway to match that of the network that I currently have the UDA on. Now we're going to go in here. We're going to change the IP. We're going to change the net mask. And we're going to add a gateway. This way my local machine can talk to the UDA in my host only network. So that's complete, we'll save the file and we will restart the networking service on the UDA. Now that's complete, we can open up our web browser and go ahead and connect to the UDA appliance. Now we're just going to go ahead and Connect up to the UDA. We're going to click on web interface and we're going to log in with a username of admin and a password of admin. Now we're going to go to settings or system, I'm sorry. Under system, we're going to go to disk space and we're going to initialize disk 2. This too as well will be storing our ISO images. Now that we've initialized that, we're going to go over to services. We're going to make some modifications to the DHCP service to match the network that our UDA is on. Here we're going to change the next server line to equal the IP address of our UDA server. change the next server line here and then we're going to go ahead and set the rest of the settings for our DHCP. We'll go ahead and click apply. That will restart the DHCP service. And before we continue, we're just going to verify that the mount points are both of our disk one and disk two are mounted. And the next piece is going to be getting our ISO in that we will use to configure our ESX OS. To do this, we're going to need to use a SCP or an SFTP client. In my case, I'm going to use one SCP. We're going to put in the IP address for our UDA, log in as root with a password of test. I'm going to go find my ESX. 5 update for ISO. Now on the UDA server, we're going to navigate to var public SMB mount disk 2. 
we're going to copy our ESX ISO to that location. Okay, now that our ISO is there, we can go ahead and set up our operating system. Click on Configure, select Disk 2, and by default, there's only one ISO there that we just added, so that's going to be the default one. Go ahead and say OK. Now that our operating system is configured and done, we can go ahead and create a template to be deployed. Go ahead and create a new template. We're going to give it a name. It must be five characters exactly. And again, we can see there's only one option here. And uh, the, the UDA gives you multiple options as far as hardware. We're going to choose generic. And we're going to go ahead and say typical for the type. If we were to choose custom, we would be able to set some of the kickstart settings, but I already have a pre-configured kickstart script. Go ahead and say OK. I'm going to go back to the template. We're going to edit this configuration. We're going to clear out the kickstart information that is in there. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my kickstart script in there. This is the kickstart script, one of the kickstart scripts that I have posted on dailyhypervisor.com. Uh, this is script number one. I've configured it to meet my needs. One of the things we still need to do though is configure the URL path to our installation media, which is going to be the UDA server slash ESX slash ESX301. And we're also going to set a KS device as far as part of the boot parameters. This is going to tell um, the Anaconda installer that we're going to be communicating over the network on ETH0. This is important because this script calls for eight network interfaces and otherwise it would not know which network interface to use for that. And that concludes setting up the UDA portion of this and uh, join us next time for setting up and deploying the ESX host from the UDA.